Hey everyone, so I thought I would do a walkthrough at Hobby Lobby for their 40% off all spring shop labeled items. So here we have a few of their weathered um, figurines. This is a rabbit with some glasses on and here is a rabbit or a bunny. Um, that's just a simple figurine if you are into the weathered look. They also have the rabbits or bunnies that um, are pretty much the typical brown colored. Um, they have different designs available, different options, and these are really cute. Not my thing, but they're very cute. Um, and then they also have these ones that are great for a shelf or a mantle, um, different varieties. I especially like the gnomes with the rabbit ears on them. I think that's really cute and perfect for Easter. I gravitate towards yellow, so <laughs> that's usually what I'm picking up. I thought these little chicks were so adorable with the glasses and the little legs. Um, it reminds me of something from a Pixar movie, um, and these are really, really cute. Again, I can't help but look at the yellow ones. They also had a lot of matching items like eggs, Easter baskets, and rain boots, um, which I thought were really cute. Here's some more Easter decor. Um, here's a very colorful wreath with Easter eggs on it. Um, and then there was some signage that was really pretty. Um, just a mix of Easter bunny stuff and eggs and also Christian themes um, and religious themes as well. I always find it kind of odd when they mix the two together. Um, but I guess a lot of people do that. Um, it's funny because at my church when I was younger, we did Easter egg hunts for a while. And then once I got to my teens, they decided to stop doing them. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of interesting when I see them mixed at stores because I get it. I understand some people do both, um, but I do understand that some people do not do both and do not mix them. Um, they have lots of eggs here, though. Um, fake eggs, different sizes. Um they also have the gold eggs, which are the ones that are supposed to have the big bucks in them. <laughs> um, and then they had, of course, a lot of Easter baskets or Easter pails. Um, lots of options. These would be great for maybe some type of a DIY um, if you wanted to go up a notch from maybe Dollar Tree or Walmart. Um, and you could possibly reuse these um, for a couple of years as well. Um, also in the spring shop, they had um, a lot of different items. This uh, macrame, I guess is the way you pronounce it. Um, I really like this hanging basket. I thought about getting it, but I wasn't really sold on the price, even with the 40% off. Um, I just wish they had some different designs um, to them. But anyway... Um, and of course, we are still talking about storage. Um, I love the color green. And so seeing these olive green baskets were just so pretty to me. Um, these are plastic baskets with a woven look. And they had several of them. I'm not even showing all of them here. But if you are still doing storage, um, these would be great for that. And more signage, um, perfect for spring. Um, really, really pretty welcome signs and just signs to update your home and give it a nice spring refresh. These would be great for housewarming gifts. Um, if you know someone who has just now gotten their own place, um, just to kind of give them some personality to their home. And I have been looking for um, some shelving for my bedroom. And I really like this little bookshelf here. It's the right height and size. But even with the 40% off, I just didn't think it was worth it. I may have to keep my eye out for this just in case um, they go deeper in the sale somehow. <laughs> More signage, a lot of DIY signage, except this stuff looked more like summertime to me. Um, but I think it was included in the sale, but I didn't look at every single item, so I can't be 100% sure. But a lot of this looked more summertime to me. So, um, but you can kind of give it a spring twist with the right colors. 
And here's some more Easter related items. Um, these beaded garlands with Easter eggs are really pretty. Um, not really my thing, but they are really, really pretty. And I think they would be great on a mantle if you are decorating for Easter. I like that they threw in these carrots just to switch it up a little bit with the color theme. Um, and they're a little more rustic looking, so that's nice as well. And more wreaths, um, a different variety, different sizes. Um, honestly, I wish they had a few items that weren't as colorful, but um, you can always DIY that if you wanted to. Um, but I, I like that they have these here. I just wish they had a better variety. And here's a little on the nose decor with the spring sign. Um, it's really pretty. And I found one little guy that was out of place and I decided to put this back and it says risen on it. And I guess it's the shape of an egg. I don't know if it's supposed to be an egg or a stone, but anyway. <laughs> And then here is something that would be great for a centerpiece on your table or on your mantle or something like that. Um, I would think that you can also decorate the wooden box that it's in. That would be really nice. And here's some more signage, um, possibly for the front of the house. Um, this really cute bunny booty um, that I thought was pretty nice. Um, this would be a good DIY idea, actually. Um, so if you didn't want to buy it from Hobby Lobby, you can do it yourself. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.